All right, folks, so in this video, folks, we are going to update the BIOS to the ASUS Prime H610i plus D4 motherboard. All right, so we'll use a USB thumb drive and I will plug it in to one of those spots. So let's go get the file. All right, folks, for this video, we're going to use a Gigastone, I don't know if you can see it, Gigastone 128 gig USB 2.0 thumb drive. All right, folks, so uh, let's go ahead and go to Google. At least hopefully we'll go to Google. Or whatever search engine you want. So uh, Asus Prime H610i plus D4. So you see this link here. And this does appear to be our uh, motherboard. All right, so we want to click on this support right here, folks. Not the, uh, not this one up here, okay? This guy right here. And we want to click on uh, driver and utility, BIOS and firmware, and show all now. We had, uh, our BIOS was, I believe it said 2014, so October 10th, 2020, and so what do we want? Improve system, mini ME, da, 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 da. Before BIOS update, please download ME update tool from ASUS support site. All right, so. That's something you're going to have to do uh, separately. This is uh, how to update the BIOS, all right? Now, where is that thing? That's right here, okay? So you'd basically click download and install that. Um, that's going to get installed in uh, Windows, all right? So we want to grab the most current one, all right? Which is this guy. And... Then we're going to download this and it is going to, we're going to extract all and then click on this BIOS renamer, press any key to continue and now we're going to copy this over to our thumb drive. Now if you have any other BIOS updates on here, delete those out, all right? And preferably you'd have nothing else on this thumb drive, but in my case, I've got some folders. So we have pasted that in. All right. Now we're going to take this back over to the computer. All right. So we're going to plug in our thumb drive. And now, Looks like we're, uh, we're going to have to adjust our heights here so you guys can see what's going on. Okay, so we we'll want to go over to uh, advanced mode and to tool. Asus Easy Flash 3 utility. And since we only have one drive in here, this ought to be easy enough. There is our file. Please back up your BitLocker, blah, blah, blah. Do you want to read this file? Yes, I do. Do you really want to update BIOS? Yes, I do. All right, so this could take uh, six to eight minutes, folks. And I'm going to uh, actually leave this up for the whole time. Now, since I've got your attention, uh, some things you should know about updating the BIOS. Definitely do not want to do this when the weather's bad, all right? You do not want to take a chance that you will lose power. Uh, that could brick your motherboard. Now, if you have a motherboard that has a dual BIOS, which just does not, um, you might be okay, right? But in this case, where there's only one BIOS, if you brick it, you're... Uh, pretty much screwed so 
Don't do this during hurricane, hailstorm, windstorm, thunderstorm, any kind of storm, all right? Now one day, for the heck of it, when I have lots and lots of money, I'm going to unplug one of these in the middle of this, just to demonstrate what happens. So, on the screen, let's talk about what you see on the screen. You see the version 2014. And down here you see version 2212. Now this should take about six to eight minutes. We're already uh, five minutes and 49 seconds into this video. I have not edited anything. I have paused here and there. But otherwise you're seeing this... Uh, it's almost like shooting in one one continuous shot except for the pauses so we've got a few minutes left Now, um, since you're enjoying this video so much, why don't you go ahead and uh, click on that subscribe button and then watch like 10 more of my videos. That would be much appreciated. So this thing is slow. So that ME uh, update tool, if you don't do that and you end up uh, putting a 13th gen CPU in, you may notice some really bad performance on this here motherboard in conjunction with that CPU. So you'll definitely want to uh, do that update as soon as you can. So we're getting there. Update successfully, system will reset. So once you do the BIOS update, folks, <coughs> after this thing reboots, you'll notice your XMP has been reset. So you will have to go in and update that, all right? So XMP will be disabled. You'll want to go in and re-enable it. Um, the other thing that could happen, now we want to take unplug our uh, thumb drive at this point. Uh, the other thing that might happen to you is if you have, you want to hit F1 here. If you have multiple drives installed, you might find that uh, your boot priority got screwed up. All right, so you can see we're good to go, version 22.12, and uh, now you would want to go and, uh, if you haven't already, uh, install a drive, get your Windows 10 or 11 on this thing, and you are good to go. Thanks for checking out my video, folks. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.